flesh and blood. It's done. It's a bottle of water. Yes. A bottle is full of water. Amen. Amen. But you could say you want all of water, all you want. Michael. All you want. But if every time I try to give you the water, you keep your mouth closed. Water may be coming out of the bottle, but it ain't nothing going down in your mouth. Because your mouth's still closed. Hallelujah. So even though I'm trying to give you water, I'm trying to force feed the water down your throat. Because your mouth is closed, you ain't gonna get no water. That's the same thing with God tonight. If you don't open your spirit, if your spirit is closed, God trying to get a blessing to you, but you ain't gonna get nothing from God because you got your spirit closed. Now if you really want a drink of water, and you really want to drink from God, hallelujah, and he's pouring out his, his water upon you and his blessing, you got to open your mouth. You got to open your spirit. So what this spirit does is it comes in between the two of you. And it comes in between as a strong man. Notice he is bigger than your husband. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. He comes in as a strong man yes. in between you all. And he does not want this marriage to work at all. Oh. It causes arguments between you all. Yeah. It causes war between you all. Yeah. It causes infertility between you all. When you get pregnant for your husband, he spikes the warm and causes you to have a miscarriage or have an abortion. Do you get what I'm saying? Or he gives you PCOS or he gives you fibroids. Do you get what I'm saying? Or he makes you frigid towards your husband. Yeah.